to the channels boys and girls just washed that just started this because it's been a few weeks um yeah here in the uk yeah it's been uh, really cold in the last week or so and um, we've got another storm coming in i'm about two weeks behind on my videos i don't know if you guys some of you new guys might not know that but yeah where you see a video I'm two weeks later on so yeah this is uh the 20th of february on a saturday and tomorrow yeah we've got another storm coming in with like 80 mile an hour winds so uh happy day so yeah today's gonna be a garage vlog um i have got my suzuki banner up there we go i did say i'll get one i've actually got a mustang plaque to put up but i haven't done it yet anyway today what are we going to talk about well some 300 miles now i see i put a photo on the uh community board on facebook um don't know how often people actually look at that but yeah i've actually done 300 miles in there I'm, i've had it a month now so i've been on it four times <laughs> so but when i've gone out I've obviously i've plowed some miles on her so uh yeah i'm halfway to the two month or 600 mile service so uh yeah i'll just um talk about what i think of it so far obviously i'm going to keep this short and sweet but yeah so far so good um tires i've ridden it in sort of one zero to one degree so far um obviously i haven't exploited the tires too much um as you can see it's quite filthy under there so you do need to give this a wash next and um, as you can see i've been doing the cars and stuff but um yeah the tires have been all right actually the dunlops obviously i haven't been going mad um because also the weather conditions have been wet horrible you would have seen by the last video it was bloody horrible out there so uh yeah i have I haven't found them too trouble warming them up or anything like that they're not got the feel of a michelin of these, these dunlop sport max but they're not so bad uh brake systems i know a lot of people on the reviews when i was looking were saying they haven't got too much feel but because it's more of a touring bike and for my sort of riding i kind of like the progressive feel of them not going snatchy um but when you do put them on they certainly do work um you just gotta remember you have to put it in a little bit more <laughs> but yeah they're brembos they're not they're not rubbish if you want to upgrade them to a different master suit and stuff there's plenty of modifications out there on the forums so so far tires brakes have been fine engine lovely you know it's got plenty of go lots of character um yeah all i can say is uh i went on a dual carriageway and had a little bit of a blast with my mate just a quick one not going too mad but jesus christ yeah she's quick when you want her to be quick and that was just in b mode so roll on nice weather and put in a and see how aggressive that throttle response is and um, so engine good i'm happy at the moment with the current exhaust sound i've just done a red clip for you anyway and um, yeah it's all right it's quite nice getting used to the bike before just most of my bikes i've changed the exhaust almost straight away and done stuff i'm enjoying the exhaust and the bike and getting to know the bike and then obviously when you put a new exhaust on it's like having a new bike again isn't it all the pops and crackles and stuff so i'm gonna leave that for now um not gonna say i'm not gonna do it but i'm gonna leave it for now and just go go with the stock i want to enjoy it in some dry weather first of all and not stormy conditions uh general paintwork i've washed it once so far I know it's uh, a new bike and you're going to go, oh, it should be in good condition. But yeah, it's washed up really well so far. It's, you know, it doesn't seem to be scratching or wearing where my knees are. I haven't got any tank pad or protection on the tank or anything. Uh, tank bag, which I installed in the last video, well, the second before last. Yeah, it seems to be doing doing all right. I'll see no issues with that so far. Um, starts on the button. I haven't been putting it on trickle charge. Um, Mainly because my trickle charge is actually broken. The connector's gone on it, so I need to kind of repair it or just replace it because they're only cheap anyway. But it has been on free bikes, so I can't really argue with something which only costs 35 quid, say. 
Um, my spin, I haven't really used. I'm gonna be fair to be fair with you. Um, I've not had to use it yet. You know, I've got my cardo set on for the headset. Uh, comfort, comfort of the seat, absolutely fine. If you come from anything like a MT07, MT09, or a tri speed twin like I have, this is this is luxury. This is nice. I don't find it any good, better or worse than my old bike. Um, I've rode it for hours and not had any issues whatsoever. Obviously, panniers not been rocking the panniers. I'm not doing the tour in these weathers. Um, but yeah, I can later review them. I'm going to get some pannier bags for those panniers, which I've uh, when I do get them. Uh, what else can I say? Riding at night. I'm sorry, it's just a lot of looking at the bike. It's better than my ugly mug, yeah. Um, yeah, these are really good, great. I haven't got a clip because I didn't have my camera rolling when I come back at night, but they're, um, yeah, they've got a great widespread beam, so they're really, really good. So, excellent lights. I know people don't like only the one being on, but you don't see it when you ride it, do you? Ah, screen. Now, screen, if you imagine my head, and that's the helmet, and that's the top of my head, I get the wind blast here. I'm five foot four, so I'm a really shorty. Uh, short legs but yeah it's just the top of my helmet i get it so i have actually bought which is in there a touring screen so i'm gonna try it basically the touring screen just goes whoosh, up like that so it's just a little bit higher um so yeah i'll get that fit and i'll let you know how i uh, feel about that obviously i'm not gonna go riding out today um because it's gonna rain any bit second and it's uh the winds have picked up so i'm gonna leave it for this weekend and it looks better next weekend and um, so yeah it just flips up so hopefully it's just gonna just push that enough to get over my head Um i've actually bought a new helmet uh, i've bought a new shui neotech 2 um helmet which will be quieter than my hjc anyway so yeah be interested between the two i might take it out with my old helmet first just to see what the difference is with the screen see if it is quieter or not for someone in the same sort of size as me however the wind doesn't really bother me it's just i just it's quite i find it uh quite noisy not as noisy as the speed twin naked but i thought it might be a bit better than that the screen so i'm gonna try it with that but then i've gone for a quieter helmet so that should rectify that so um fuel yeah it's obviously i've been averaging between 48 and 51 miles per gallon depending on you know what the conditions are like i've been outside like i said i haven't really ragged it too much i've done one little blat which won't hurt you know these engines are, aren't that bad obviously i've let the brakes and everything all wear in so uh yeah so far you know brilliant brilliant bike and i'm well chuffed with it uh heat grips i can't quite get used to the uh, settings because it just flashes at you, doesn't say anything on the dash. And I think you know, when Suzuki charge normally about 400 quid for them, like I got them included, um, yeah, I don't think they're 400 quid's worth of heated grips. Um, because I would like it to be integrated into the dash, really. However, they keep my hands warm, they're better than my Triumph ones were, so it's just the settings I find a, a bit, 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 uh, bit funny. Obviously, it's free settings. It is when you do get them. Um, so yeah, jury's still out on them, but they're still better than my Triumph. So can't really complain. It's just you don't know where you are with uh, low, medium, high settings. You try and riding the bike and try doing the fly, and it's just flashing and stuff. And I'm not being funny. You should just have it on the screen so it's easy. Um, Hey ho, little moan. Nothing's perfect, is it? So this is what all these type of reviews are, and this is just an honest review. Obviously, not sponsored by anybody. It's my money. It's where I put my money. So uh, yeah, obviously, I will check in a bit more when the mileage gets in. I'm going to do um, an owner's review, long-term owner's review on the Mustang because I haven't done much Mustang content. So if you are watching and thinking, well, he never does anything with his Mustang, well, I do because I've just washed the beast. So. Um, but you know, it's the daily daily driver for the wife and my second toy as well. Well, yeah, it's second toy, so bike and the car. Um, so yeah, to be honest, uh, the weather's nice. I, I, at the moment, this has been the new toy. This one tends to get taken out. 
and I don't really have a car set up camera stuff so uh, where well, I've got a, a helmet camera haven't I in the uh, on my helmet for the bike anyway I'm waffling like I always do but if you haven't subscribed I've only got five percent of you guys that watch my videos subscribed which seems crazy to me um, but a lot of returning viewers so yeah just smash that subscribe button I'm trying to get to a thousand this year so if you could do that that would be brilliant and if you've listened this long definitely do it you know so uh, anyway I'll catch you on the next one guys bye